Hello everyone. So I just got gifted an overnight stay someplace, which is fantastic. I greatly thank this person and we are going to go and check out this little community. Let's go. So we are driving into Buena Vista and you can tell like all of these fall colors are absolutely beautiful. The yellows, and then there's some green still. But look at all these trees. I don't think Colorado Springs has this many trees all in one area to actually change like this. Um, so it's really nice to see. I really enjoy this. I really like this. So I'm going to apologize because it's going to be very, very windy here, but we are at this beautiful lake called Twin Lakes. Now that the wind has actually died down a little bit, no, just kidding. All right, so what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the wind is that we are here at Twin Lakes. So we are actually walking down to the lakes here, which are absolutely beautiful with the blues and the greens and, you know, and the little beach here. But um, what's really cool is, you know, they're sitting right here at the bottom of these uh, the mountains and we have these little uh, rivers that actually kind of feed into this lake now it does look like the rivers have broken down the earth so i'm not for sure exactly how much water actually comes from the mountains after it's you know after it snows and the snow melts but it's absolutely amazing Obviously, it does look like this lake has dropped in water, but nonetheless, um, it is still probably one of the most pretty lakes that I have seen here in Colorado. So if you're ever in this area, take a look. All right. Well, that was fun. I think I'm going to go drive down the street a little bit and check out some other pull-ins that we can go check. But... My one question is, does anybody know if this lake has actually dropped in depth or in water amount? I don't know. It looks like it has really, really gone down. So I don't know. Let me know what you think below. If you know, let me know. With that, we are going to go forward and find off, find another turn spot. It's so windy up here. As you can tell by the other videos, I've kind of cut out all of the uh, sound uh, just because I couldn't even talk because it was so windy and I was getting blown over. 
Um, that's how windy it is up here. But I wanted definitely to show you guys this little area. Um, this is the lake that, let me get down here. So this is the lake over here that I did the very first couple videos. The ones with the really, really pretty blues and greens and uh, it looks like you can literally walk across it on the sand, but it looks like the water level has gone down. Um, so that's what this lake is over here. And then we have this very interesting, almost like canal type thing that empties into the second lake. So this over here is the second lake. We are actually um, at a point where it's called Deception Point. And we're just kind of looking over both, both lakes. Um, so it's very, very, it's very cool up here. I do, I do like it. Um, I wish it just wasn't as windy, but it is a very, very nice area. We are probably about two and a half hours away from Colorado Springs, just so you have an idea of where. Um, we're by Buena Vista, uh, and that is west of Colorado Springs. You take uh, Highway 24, and you just follow that straight up through to Buena Vista. And then these two lakes are about, I'd say about 10, maybe 15 minutes just north of Buena Vista. So if we keep going north another 10, 15 minutes, we're gonna be in Leadville, um, which has Cooper Mountain, uh, which is a nice little family area for skiing. So um, that's kind of where we are at. So I think I am going to walk down that area and see if we can get an overview of this lake. All right, so let's go check this one out. Okay, so this is the second lake on the Twin Lakes. Um, this is the one that is mostly just the dark blue. Uh, doesn't have any of those pretty or uh, orange. Doesn't have any of those pretty greens and blues in it, but you can just see how big this lake is. And once we come around here, it's gonna be a lot of sun. But right there where the sun is at. So right in here, that is a little alcove that I was at to show you guys this lake. And right there on the other side, right in there, right on the other side of that is that second lake that we were at. So this is a pretty big, pretty big lake. It's very pretty, very nice out here. Over on this other side, all, all up in there, the hiking trails, more hiking trails than where I'm at. Um, fortunately, we weren't able to go over there, but we still got to see a lot of this lake or two lakes, I should say. We did see a couple people, actually surprisingly only two people, so it's not very busy here. They were very, very friendly. Uh, they are actually visiting from Florida. So this is Twin Lakes. It's also very pretty. And it looks like there's like little rivers that actually flow into this lake or quote twin lakes. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but that is the last lake. So here's kind of like a kind of a rundown board of the Twin Lakes recreation area. So there's we saw both. We saw this one. That's the one we just were at. And then that one is the one that I thought was a little low, uh, just because it was a lot of sand. We started here. So this is where we started, and we got out, walked around. 
and then we actually drove down and we came to here so we can see this point which was that little kind of channel that we saw so then i came back around and then i stopped here and now i am right here so that is the lakes so if you're ever out here in the Bruna Vista area, you definitely have to come to the Twin Lakes. Okay, so I just checked into my hotel room and um, I checked, it's a Super 8 motel. They actually have rooms designated for dogs and animals. So I'm going to switch around here and let you guys see this. It's a typical hotel room. Um, but there's something a little different. So that is, uh, we have a, I guess if you wanna say a back door, and we have a front door. So that is very cool. So I can just w uh, wake up if she needs to go to the bathroom, but she's laying on the floor. And oh yeah, and all the, in the dog rooms have hardwood floors in them. So just in case something happens, um, they can easily clean it up. Uh, but as you can see, it is a typical standard two bed queen room. I'm gonna get a little comforter for her. We're gonna get a little blanket so she can sleep on some comfy. She's so fat. Not that dog's. She is tuckered out. You sleepy. Are you sleepy? So here is the town of Buena Vista. Bumps up right up against this little mountain ridge. So I'm actually walking down to the little restaurant because uh, it's walking distance and I will see what it's all about. Okay, so as I'm walking downtown, I see these trees. They're so cool. I don't know what I don't know what kind of trees these are. I've never seen these trees before. So, do you? Does anybody anybody know what kind of tree that is? It's one tree. Look at that. This is one tree. How fun is that? Okay, that's pretty cool. And look, I have a nice little river that goes down. I, I must admit, the fall colors here are absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna put you this way. These yellows and are just fantastic. Oh, how pretty is that? So pretty. So I'm gonna go find this little, I think it should be right up here. I'm gonna find this little, little restaurant that I'm gonna go to and figure out I don't know, I'm just hungry. I am hungry. The place that I thought was gonna be open, it's closed. So now I'm having to walk back to my hotel and find some place else to eat. Bummer. I did find food at Poncho's, which is an American Mexican place. want to do a quick video because these are the aspen trees and as you could tell all of the leaves are gone so I will link uh, my video that we went to Cripple Creek you can see it right here and um, you'll see the difference between just a week to maybe a week and a half um, is 
when the fall and the leaves actually change and drop. So it's very, very quick. It's a very brief um, fall for Colorado if you're up in the mountains. Um, once we get down lower, like, like you've seen in um, Buena Vista, uh, the leaves obviously keep changing. But aspen leaves right now, they're gone, which is sad. But anyway, let's continue. I am not for sure what I got us into. We are going on a trail called Hidden Lake Trail. And so I didn't realize it's gonna be all snowy. Yeah, it is snowy here. So I'm glad I brought my flannel. This trail is about two and a half miles round trip. So a mile and a quarter up and then a mile and a quarter down. So I think we can do this. However, I just started and the air is definitely thin up here. So keep that in mind. They say this trail is an easy trail. Um, it's not too, too easy when there's snow on the ground, but, huh. and for my lungs, it's not easy. But we're gonna go, we're gonna try to find this hidden lake. So come along for the adventure. couple little pikes up there walking up so we got to the top of one of these mountain trail paths and this is the view that we have so this I'm thinking this lake is going to be above tree level because we are we are almost above tree level in a 360 panorama for you guys but so yeah we are going to continue on our way up Let's see if we can find everything and I will show you more yeah I came over this ridge and lo and behold there's the lake hidden lake it is very hidden. Like I thought we got off the trail because I didn't see any, any footprints or anything. So I just walked up. But yeah, I think this is Hidden Lake. I'm gonna try to go more over there to see if I can get a better picture and a better view of it. But obviously this is right at the base of the mountains. So I think you can, yeah, because see, I came up from there, so I had to kind of backtrack a little bit. But, um, yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go kind of walk around this and see, see if we can find some, just some hiking stuff. So it's a very easy hiking trail for sure. So if you have any sort of, like, handicap or anything like that, it's, it's definitely very easy to come up here. Now, obviously, with the snow, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But, you know, if it wasn't all snowy or anything, definitely, definitely an easy, easy place to come hike and look, look around. So with that, we're going to go look around. This lake is so clear. Oh my gosh. Look how clear that is. But at the same time, it is halfway frozen already. Look at that lake. It's frozen. I mean, we are pretty high up, but we've got half that's not frozen, half that is frozen. It's a pretty area. It's a pretty, pretty nice view of the mountains up here. And I mean, this water has to be so cold, but it's so clear. I came across this dried up river, so it leads 
right over here, comes up and around. Can you see that? Up and around, and it continues all the way up through the mountain. We are going to continue to see if we can walk around this entire lake. Like I said, it's a little, this land is a little squishy, um, but it's probably due to the fact that the water is low and this is probably somewhat underwater when spring comes around, spring and summer. Right now, it's not very high, but I do not care. It is still a very, very pretty little lake. So, such a great trail. Every little turn and every little more you go up, it is such a different view. We got all these nice little evergreens here that we didn't have down by the lake. Yeah, I don't know if that's a 14er or not. But we are going to continue, see if we can go up and around, maybe up there. Probably not up there, but at least try to check some of that area out. But yeah, it is very, very, such a different view than Colorado Springs. But yeah, like I said, this is just like 30 minutes um, up the road from Buena Vista. All right, so we've come to a stopping point, which you can still continue up that way, but we got this little river here that we have to cross, and it's, it's not deep by all means, but it's definitely muddy. Um, and I don't want Belle to get all black. Her feet are black because she decided to go into it. So I think we are going to, I think we're going to head back towards the car. Oh, got something in my eye. Okay, so I think we're going to head back to the car. And then I think we're going to just kind of slowly make our way home to Colorado Springs. So it would be a good two and a half to three hour drive. So we probably won't get back until maybe four, but that's okay. So that is the muddy, icky stuff that she's getting through. So. Found this cute little stream. Yeah, she can get some waters. Get a little some waters. Nice, fresh mountain water. I'm definitely gonna show you this house that I saw on the way up here. I mean, it is absolutely fantastic. This house is, it's big, but it has so many trees around it. And all the trees are this bright, brilliant yellow color. So, I'm definitely going to show you guys because I think you guys need to see that house. So, we'll, we'll get it on the way back. This is the house I wanted to show you guys. It is fantastic. I love this house. It's all the trees and the green, or not the green, but all those leaves up there. Absolutely stunning. And that house is beautiful. Beautiful. 